Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go through 10 tips and tricks that will hopefully make using OneNote easier for you. The first one is refreshing. Now we encourage everyone to refresh their notebooks at times that are not going to be the busiest. So try to avoid doing this at 9 o'clock and rather do it at just before dinner time. To refresh a section, pull down in the section list and you'll see the circle appear. To refresh the entire notebook, pull down in the columns list over in the middle here. This will download and check if there's anything new or force anything that has to be uploaded to upload. Tip number two, visit the welcome section for new messages. When teachers need to correspond with their entire class, this is where they'll leave a message. You might find this in the welcome section or in a designated space in the content library. Tip number three, the role space. Try to do to mark the role as early as you can in each day. Don't stress if it says it's not syncing. It will get through to your teacher. You'll be able to find it in the collaboration space, which means that everyone can edit. That also means that everyone can see what you are putting in there. Tip number four, check your content library for a section like this week's tasks. Most teachers have uploaded a thing to let you know what tasks you should be doing each week. Checking here will help you to know where you should be going to start your day. You might also have something like this, where an activity checklist where you can record what activities you have been working on. If you're unsure where to start, then you should get in contact with your class teacher. Tip number five, check the content library for areas like PE and well-being, as you will not find dedicated tasks in your student section. In the content library, you can see a range of tasks from Mr. G, as well as a variety of tasks from our guidance officer, Alison Daly, to help you with well-being activities. Tip number six. When heading to an activity in your student section, zoom out to see all the work first so you know what you have to do and to make sure you don't miss anything. Then zoom back in to a level that makes it easier for you to read. If there is lots of text, don't forget you can also check out the Immersive Reader feature which you can find in the View tab which will read many, most parts of text to you. Tip number seven. We know that type is neater to use, but it doesn't work everywhere. Look for areas where you can see that your teacher has typed, and you should be able to type there as well. Make your text clearer by choosing a different font colour so that it stands out from what your teacher has written. You can't type on top of a picture, like in this maths lesson here, but you can tap off to the outside to generate a new text box, type in that, and then use the three dot, and click on the four dots to drag it to where you need to go. This can get a bit frustrating, so it's often easier to use drawing over the top of pictures like these. Simply tap on the draw, then click on the pen. Zooming in can make it easier too. Don't forget to click back to text mode when you are done. We all make mistakes, but you can use the undo button to fix big ones like that. It's hiding in the top left hand corner next to the magnifying glass. You can click it many times. If you click too far, you can always redo it to go back. Tip number nine, showing authors. You might see these bars coming down the side and they can often get in the way and block the work you're trying to see. To turn these off, click on the settings cog in the top right, choose edit and view, and then turn on hide authors. This can make it easier to see your work. Tip number 10, check the troubleshooting guide when you are having errors. Whilst there is a troubleshooting section in each kid's OneNote, the most up-to-date information is stored on the school website. Simply click on the remote learning page 
and navigate to the troubleshooting guide. In here you'll find the most up-to-date answers to those questions as well as new videos, particularly in the How do I use OneNote section as well as uh, new videos on what to do if you are facing issues where OneNote is not syncing content. If you are still experiencing issues after troubleshooting, then please get in touch with us at the student support email address.